We have uh, Pat Martins from Bridge Preservation and Inspection Services. Pat's going to be giving us a report out on uh, the Bridge Deck Preservation Working Group and also covering the Concrete Bridge Deck Preservation Resource Guide. Uh, yes, I want to talk about the a little bit about the National Bridge Deck Working Group and in particular one of the deliverables we had from our group was this deck resource guide that we worked on to, to put together here in, in the last year or so. I wanted to introduce uh, the group that worked on this particular guide, which included uh, Sarah Sondag, who is a co-chair with myself on this particular uh, working group. She's from the Minnesota DOT, and she's kind of the main driver of our group, really. I'm kind of there to give her some moral support from the industry side, I guess. Stephen Austin with TxDOT, he was the past chair, and he's serving as our secretary uh, right now. And then Andy Nanneman from the Arkansas Department of Transportation, so kind of a very uh, center of the uh, country type of group here that worked on this particular resource guide. But I do want to mention that uh, we definitely would uh, invite your participation in this working group. We meet on the third Thursday of each month at uh, noon central, it would be 11 o'clock uh, mountain time. And we would definitely welcome uh, representation from the Western uh, Bridge Partnership for sure. So uh, please uh, feel free to join us on that particular uh, call each month. So what I wanted to do here is just kind of uh, walk you through the process of, first of all, where do you find this uh, resource guide? And as, as Chris was mentioning, there's, there's a plethora of information out here on the TSP2 website. Um, so definitely invite you to, to check out a lot of the information that's out there. In particular, our, uh, our document can be found, first of all, you're, you're going to go out to the uh, TSP2 bridge preservation site. And now, where do you find it? This gets to be a challenge a lot of times with a lot of the, the things that we have out on the website. But uh, if you go to, uh, up on that top bar, the technical section, and then you'll get a drop down there, and there'll be a section for decks and joints. And that's where you want to go to. Uh, to try to access. Okay, so then when you come down into that deck and joint section, the second uh, main heading there is Bridge Deck Preservation Guide, and you'll see the second bullet there is the uh, Concrete Bridge Deck Preservation Resource Guide, and then that'll bring you to where you can download the actual document. Okay, so we made it to the document, and what's in this resource guide? We just completed this just a little over a year ago. You can see it was July of 21 when we, when we actually published this. It started out, I want to say it started out as really kind of a monstrosity. We had uh, a lot of information uh, related to, to bridge deck preservation. And as we got into this, we kind of looked at it and decided, you know, what is the audience? What's the purpose of what we're doing here? And we were, we were kind of concerned that our document was getting so big and so long that nobody's going to read it. You know, you get a 60, 70 page document out there, people are not going to read that. So we kind of had to scale back and decide, okay, how do we want to handle this? So we decided uh, we were going to kind of streamline this a little bit and shorten the document up. So first of all, we've got a section kind of up front which talks about, okay, what is the purpose and the audience that we're trying to reach with this particular document? Then, of course, what is the importance of bridge deck preservation, the impact of construction quality on that, and then we talk about bridge deck condition assessment as well in that particular section. So this would be our, our first, uh, our introductory page here. And uh, we decided that the purpose in the audience was basically going to be, uh, you know, we wanted to provide just the most basic information in this particular document. And we were gonna gear this toward uh, newer people uh, as, a, as an introduction to bridge deck preservation. So that, that was kind of our approach here. Of course, the importance of bridge deck preservation, we, we've been uh, going over that for years here within this, this particular group. And then we also thought it was important to include uh, construction quality, the importance of construction quality with regard to uh, performing, performing these uh, bridge deck preservation tasks out there. And then we included a little section on uh, bridge deck condition assessment, basically uh, looking at your, your NBI uh, kind of ratings and how uh, preservation can be tied to those particular uh, rating numbers. You know, if in, in bridges, bridge decks that are, that are in good condition, of course, that's what we want to strive to maintain. We want to keep them in good conditions. And there's a lot, of, a lot of these tasks out there. Actually, all the tasks that are on our list would be 
important to, uh, to try to do to preserve the bridge deck. Uh, but, but of course, uh, you know, as that deck deteriorates, you know, you get into a fair condition. Uh, you know, now that the uh, parameters and kind of the options of what you're looking at to try to preserve the bridge deck start to kind of change for you. And then when you get down into a poorer condition, maybe even more of those uh, options fall off the table and there's only a few options to help kind of uh, maybe restore or uh, keep that uh, deck alive. And at the same time also we, uh, we tie it in with the element level inspection where we can get more detail and, uh, and use those tasks uh, based on the, uh, the element uh, findings that you have out there in your inspection platform. So then the, the next part of the document, basically starting on page five and through uh, the rest of the document, becomes what are these particular tasks that uh, we've included in the document. We kind of show this particular flow chart here with regard to preservation and how it can be cyclical uh, or condition-based. And then this becomes kind of the, the crux here of our, of our document where we have the various tasks starting with deck flushing through sealing and the various types of overlay systems that uh, you can apply to the bridge deck to, to preserve it. We developed a template for each preservation action that we uh, had out there. And this included, first of all, just a short description of what that preservation action was going to be, the benefit of doing such action, and then we included some bullets that, that uh, listed uh, best practices that could apply. And then we also provided a variety of links to uh, access as far as uh, different resources if you needed more information with regard to the, the task. So just looking at one of the, uh, the tasks, this kind of gives you an idea of the layout. And we also felt it was important to try to kind of keep it to one page. We didn't want it to, to get too long. We wanted to just keep it as short and concise as we can. So we had a description section. And in, in there, just a few short sentences on the description of that particular task. Again, benefits, same thing, just a few short sentences. What are the benefits to performing this particular pass, task? And then uh, our best practices, a series of uh, bullets in there. Uh, to help the, uh, the user to, to identify some of the, the best practices out there to applying the, the task in their particular uh, operation. And then finally, the resources section, just some, some various links that you could go to for more information. Now, we did include in this um, small movement joint maintenance, we thought that was important to include with regard to uh, preservation as you're preserving that bridge deck, also preser preserving uh, through, through the, uh, the joint uh, program. So we, we did include uh, a listing of various uh, small movement joints and typical failure modes that might apply to uh, those particular uh, joints. And then at the end, we realized there's also, we, we didn't capture all the tasks here, but we thought we captured the main ones that were the, the most important for the, for the group overall. But we did add additional deck preservation actions and we've got a short section on that that includes uh, uh, some information about cathodic protection and chloride extraction and things like that. And then at the very end, we've got several pages that list the, the uh, resources that are out there. Um, we, we group this into just general deck preservation and then also for each of those specific task areas, we included a variety of links for uh, the user to be able to access. So that just gives you an idea of uh, the layout there. So that kind of works you through the entire document. And then of course, a, a disclaimer in there with regard to, to this particular resource guide. Um, it was developed uh, by the, uh, our, our National Bridge Deck Preservation Working Group as part of the TSP2 program. And then it, the guide is not intended to uh, uh, replace anything out there as far as your standards or your specifications or your regula regulations, you're, you're still going to follow those. Uh, but this is just basically a resource to provide you with more information out there. And then the contents do not necessarily uh, reflect the views of uh, Federal Highway or, uh, or AASHTO. So, and I think that really the, uh, the purpose of the document here, as I stated uh, first off, you know, it, it's, it started out as a long document uh, with the idea the, the idea that, that we uh, revised the document to a little shorter, uh, more concise document was now that we, what we could do as a, as a working group is we could actually take individual sections now and develop a more um, in-depth uh, uh, piece of, 
you know, uh, of a review of, of those sections and add more material in there. And one of the things we did actually do was as a kind of an offshoot of this uh, um, document here is we, we did develop a subgroup that uh, actually worked on one of the pocket guides w regarding the uh, rigid cementitious concrete overlays. So that was kind of a subgroup that kind of came out of this and um, as uh, Chris was mentioning that, that uh, document is uh, Pretty close to finalization. We hope to have that out here really, really soon. So, uh. the preceding was produced by the National Center for Pavement Preservation. More information can be found on the web at pavementpreservation.org. Additional support provided by Michigan State University.